Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Altitude is always a factor in the state of Colorado, but only one team is going to be a mile high, and the other one is going to feel very low at the end of the day. Colorado and Colorado State in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. We've got a first and ten. All on their own 40. Looking for the corner. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Up the middle for a nice game. Broussard gets about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. And he's tackled after positive yardage. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, they, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he's tackled around the eight-yard line. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Colorado State. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. Tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a little peek at what's going on in Piscataway. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Spartans pull it out by a field goal. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Colorado State is ready to kick it away. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. 
The Buffaloes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The loss on that one is he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second and 11. Ball on the 31. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it 31. He's under pressure. Tackle at the 50-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. On the run, right side. He's at the 40. It's a fumble. It's picked up by the defense. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Colorado State is up a score. Steps out of bounds at the 42. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Field. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Loose football. They fall on it. And he tackles him hard at the 49. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Reynolds, he'd like to change field position with his punt. Didn't get all of that one. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. And they make the stop at about the 31. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. Robinson makes the catch for about five yards on the play, and that's good for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. Get nice 
nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. After a quarter of play, we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7 0, Colorado State. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Gets to about the 44-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And pick up and a nice run by the tailback not a lot of razzle dazzle here but it gets the job done and picks up the first down they'll bring him down at the 40 yard line that's good for a game of 11 yards that makes it first and 10 first down 10 to go ball on the 40 made around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. And here's another third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Brought down around the 20-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. receiver you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete nice run to the left there third down they've been two for two on third downs in this drive and they'll try to convert again here the 10 dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle play 13 of the current drive touchdown buffaloes Great job and some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Sooners come into today's game ranked third in the country. The Sooners unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 14-7. In another game, they are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for UTEP, they're trying to change their luck. UTEP, out front, 13-6. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Colorado, yet set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29. Yeah. 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 32. three-yard line. First down. He's on the run. Dives, and he's down. Sack for a loss. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. When you talk about a dominant lineman, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. He's got two sacks today. He can bring constant pressure. Really just a nightmare for the big boys up front. And he's level at the 39. That'll make it 35. So we're looking at another third down here. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 34. Owens picks up around five yards with that catch. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterback's looking very sharp on this track. They try to run it inside and hammered down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The Rams are going to call their second timeout. From the 34-yard line. Second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. That's a loss of five yards. Easy, easy, square, square. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That brings us fourth and 15. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's got his man. They complete the slant. Good for 10. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Colorado's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Five-yard line. Call the game 17 yards. Easy, easy. Two, 20. Black, black. Caught by the tight end past the marker. Tackle at the 28-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? 
He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. Here's the pass. Broken up. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. He's looking for six. We played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Mueller takes it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 26. He makes it to the 28-yard line. it all doesn't get there they couldn't pick up the first down so they'll have to punt this one away yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Moore awaits the snap Myers takes it to 36 and he's tackled at the 48 You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Makes it out to about the 43. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Broussard will run it again. Gets out to around the 28. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 21. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the seven. to the tailback. He makes it to the six-yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. He 
makes the PAT. A six play, 53 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 14-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And down he goes at the 33. Colorado State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 36. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete. He's hammered. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And they make the stop at the 30. it out to about the 27 yard line that'll make it second and seven from the 27 yard line second down throws middle of the tight end they'll bring him down at the 13 and this is the ninth play of the current drive And he has it on the corner. Tackle made at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14 7, Ram. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike 40, Mike 40. Hey, hey, hey. Check out the six, check out the six. Hey, watch the goal, watch the goal. Go, 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 go. Touchdown, Colorado. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 67 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. 
It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Nice run up the middle. Broussard picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the nine. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 13 yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. Reynolds is waiting for the snap. Mueller makes it the 45. Tackle made at the 49. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Pick up. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Drop down at the 36. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Deep pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, what is happening in Waco? And for Baylor, they remain red hot. And for Howell, making people take notice with four touchdown runs. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one. 21-14. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. Wood takes it to 12, gets to about the 34-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Down, down. 
Throws it out there. And he's taken down at the 43. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. to that quickly and down he goes at the 35 yard line that makes it second and two just under two minutes in the game scrambling around and he's tackled right around the 24 yard line From the 24-yard line, first down. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at the 14. From the 14-yard line, first down. Setting up blockers, or running backs got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the five.
Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game. Offense. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. We are all tied at 21. Garrison ready to kick. Ralph fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Slings it out there incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Under a minute left in the game. Tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Moore awaits the snap. Room around the corner. Myers takes it to 36, and he's taken down at the 42 yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Fires incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Reynolds to punt. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Caught and he's brought down quickly. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They're about four yards away here on second down. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. He lets it fly. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. They come out on an empty backfield. He's brought down in the open field.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. Out of bounds around the four yard line. That'll make it second and four. And he converts the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They go with the run. Runs right for a nice game. because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's taken down at about the five-yard line. first down and they'll be looking for six points here quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs throws out and through his hands Touchdown. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. three-yard line. Third down. Deep ball. Laying it out there. And he will score. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives him some breathing room for the time being, but I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he hits the PAT.
from the 25 yard line. It's first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive back as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. Excellent open field tackle. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed. And if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Going to the end zone. They'll go for two in this situation. Colorado with a six-point lead. And it's caught for two. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He launches one for the end zone. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That makes it right, 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 right. Go down, go down. Go tries to buy some time. It's picked up by the defense. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, and today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime.
That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.